never pro exploitation. Exploitation. In this game, exploitation is used to describe you exploiting a people, a group, a mind state, their ignorance, right? But it's, it's still the same as taking advantage of, but taking advantage of sounds better. I'm taking advantage of an opportunity. If someone says, I'm exploiting an opportunity, what do you think? Wow, that must be a big opportunity, right? Somebody must be flipping, somebody must be fucking up. So when you hear someone has been exploited, let's say like black exploitation films, you think somebody is taking advantage of our genre, right? Rappers are being exploited, hip hop is being exploited, someone is taking advantage of our genre. But in order to be exploited, the person who is exploiting you has to have the ability to take advantage or to exploit what you bring to the table. When you go to work every day, they're exploiting you. But they're just taking advantage of you because you don't see it in such a mass scale. It's not like they're saying, hey, when when Freeman comes to work for us, we make a million off of him. But when you see it off of rap or when you see it off of movies or you see it off of even uh, Black Lives Matter, you look at it and you say, they're exploiting us. They're taking advantage of us. They're steering us, right? To their means, to their ends, not to ours, right? And you say, that's bad, Freeman. Why do people do that? What's up with this? But you gotta understand the game, man. See, all these motherfuckers are pawns in this game. Pawns. You understand what I'm saying? And they use their your little thing of saying, you know what, Freeman? Uh, you live on this street. We want to repair this street. We want to build new things on this street. How do we go down the street and get everybody on your block to agree Hmm, because we, we tried to go through the city council. We can't get them to do it that way. So instead, I'm going to walk down your street, talk to you first, because you seem like a smart person. You're going to blow my fucking head up and make me feel that, yeah, you know what? We're going we gonna to jump behind you. So now, this motherfucker, the devil in the flesh, walked down my block, got me to go out and rally up all the people in my neighborhood for his end. He's exploited me. He exploited a situation that I'm in. You understand what I'm saying? When I do it that way, well, Freeman, that's the way the world goes. That's where everything goes. Hey, man, let me explain something to you straight up so you know. This is when you get into a much more devilish scheme. When people on top with means and money are steering the populace to go in certain directions. What you have right now, if you see all this Black Lives Matter, you'll see motherfuckers get on TV, like, you know, all your presidents, Hillary Clinton and everyone, and even Donald Trump. They're exploiting the fact that for Donald Trump, that white people are losing the grip on the country. And so he's exploiting that anger and that feel of loss and that they're not number one anymore. And he's using that to channel it to get to the presidency. Hillary Clinton, is, is saying, I'm the only hope. Black people, you need to come with me. I've been your friend. I'm going to do a dab. I'm going to do your funky ass dances. And you're going to feel like, yeah, she's my friend. And they're exploiting the fact that you are a victim. That you want to be down with people. That you feel like shit. Right? So when you hear exploitation, I don't want you to think all the time of money. Because when you hear exploitation, I want you to understand that it's part of this chip game. It's a power move to exploit motherfuckers. It's a power move to steer your bitch ass to do things that really don't benefit you, but benefit me. Right? Every time when the economy goes bad, the same commercials come out, or the same screams and hollers come out. You know what those screams are? Well, we got too many Mexicans here, so they want to kick the Mexicans out. Of it. This is always happening in Los Angeles. We got too many undocumented immigrants here, right? That's number one. Then we got too much well people on welfare. And then they try to start cutting things about cutting welfare, right? Now, look what happened. This person exploited that white people feel on the grand majority that if shit gets bad, Mexicans, blacks, everybody should lose their job. And if he says that loud enough, guess what happens? All the whites are saying, yeah, let's build a wall. Yeah, let's reform immigration. Yeah, let's get the Mexicans out of those jobs. No, they don't want those jobs, right? They do the same thing with black people when it comes to, you know, no one likes you. The black man has no friends. 
No one cares about you except this sweet old white lady. She loves you, baby. She just she just think you are her pet. And then she exploits the fact that you don't you don't feel like you have a say in this world, that you are powerless in this world. They exploit that emotion you got. They do it with chips all the time, man. You just don't see it on a bigger scale. See, all those things that they give you in a job, a raise and, and a, what's that called, a, uh, a promotion and all this stuff is exploiting the fact that you, they put you in a structure and your bitch ass been so competitive so your whole life, you don't know how not to be competitive. So when they tell you, in order to make it higher up, I'm going to give you certain uh you know, gifts and bullshit to make you feel better. And here goes one of them right now. You're the head of the class. You're this. You even hear it your whole life. You got a candy. You get to sit in the corner. You get to clap the erasers, you dumb, retarded motherfucker. Ooh, can I clap the erasers, teacher? Yeah, because you did such a good job. You get to clap the erasers and get dust all over your fucking arms. Right? They exploit your ignorance. They exploit your emotional state. They exploit you. See, when I, like I said, when I say take advantage of, it's not that bad. Exploit like rape. Like, damn, raping me? Man. Right? So the only thing a person who exploited knows what to do is turn around and try to exploit someone else. And the devilish trend continues. I brought this podcast up is because I want you to see one thing that in this chip game and in life that you need to be very aware of. You know, when I was growing up, it depends on where you are, you know. You're on the East Coast, you hear somebody say to gas your head up, right? And, and you know, for us on the West, we didn't use gas your head up. I, I just know that from traveling. You know what I mean? But, you know, we just, you know. In other words, we, we gave you a feeling that's not real. We made you feel a certain way. And we learned that by dealing with women. Where you just say, oh, you look nice and all this stuff. We're trying to exploit her. Trying to take advantage of her. Now, taking advantage of her in one way would be to have sex with her. Exploiting her would be pimping. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Using her against her own wishes or making her feel that she is part of a bigger thing. Don't you understand the game? That was the simplest way for y'all to understand it. The same dude could be talking to a girl to have sex with her. The same, another dude comes along and makes her have sex with other people. He's exploiting her. So, uh, one dude can come over and tell you to come up with him. Right? He comes up off of you. The other dude comes along and says you could be part of Death Jam. You could be part of Death Row. You could be part of Aftermath. Right? You could be part of this. You could be part of these groups. That's a, that's an industry. A company brand coming to exploit you. Is that any different than you joining Black Lives Matter? Because you could be black and mad on your goddamn own. But you're going to be part of this group backed by a white man who is going to go out here and disrupt things for the sake of this white man. And what his agenda. Right? We all are being exploited. You understand? I mean, to a certain degree. The degree in which you get a dick in your ass is up to you. Some of you guys are full-blown homos in this shit. That's your thing. Right? But everybody's trying to take advantage of us on a small scale. Exploitation is when you start seeing motherfuckers walking around with the flag. I'll give you a good example. Sometimes you see some dudes, they work for some place. Let's say they work for GE. And when they, at work, they're wearing a GE uniform. Right? But some dudes, when they get off work, they still wearing a GE uniform. And you say, okay, well, maybe this motherfucker just got off work. Then you look on the side of it, and he got on another. He got a GE hat and a GE belt buckle and a GE Wonder Woman bracelet and a GE trucks and GE. <laughs> this motherfucker is brainwashed. He exploited, they exploiting him. They made him buy into the team. Right? And that's how they get you. Every one of us should be our own man. When a gardener comes and cuts my grass, he's not part of the, the Freeman Club. He's not, he's just cutting the grass, right? But if, if a man comes over and cuts my grass and says, I own a golf course, and he is the number one gardener for the Freeman golf course, 
that is PGA. And who keeps the grounds up? That's our groundskeeper, John, right there. He's our number one groundskeeper. And John with, with the Freeman Golf Course FGC label on his hat, wearing green. You know what I'm saying? And when you see him, he's smiling because he's cutting the grass for a reason. I'm exploiting this dumbass. Right? See, let me let me help you to understand, man. Regular shit we do every day has no value, no reason. It just has to be done. But when somebody puts that extra whoop on that shit, homie, <laughs> that's a West Coast term, but when somebody puts the whoop on the shit and, and make it a little bit extra, right? It's like buying into a team, homie. Me and you, homie, we can play basketball on any court in the world, right? Then we go into the gym. Let's say we go into like LA Fitness and we playing with a couple of brothers in there. Now, now it's a little bit bigger, right? Then somebody come along and say, hey Freeman, you wanna be on the basketball league? Cool, homie. You know what I'm saying? Then, hey Freeman, do you wanna play against, you know, the, the teams in the South, Freeman? The teams in the South are gonna be better, Freeman. Let's take it on, let's go on the road. Then, Freeman, do you want to wear now for auto parts on our shit? See how it escalates, homie? When at first it was just us playing ball. All this shit is to exploit you. And the number one way you can tell when you're being exploited is when you start carrying the brand, the name, or when you hear motherfuckers on the NBA or NFL, they'll say the shield. Right? Meaning like they, they represent the shield. They're part of something bigger. You know, the, the NBA, the NFL, we're part of something bigger. We're not just players. We're not just outsiders. We're part of the shield. This shit sound like it. But they exploit you, young homie, and they always will because you want to be down and you want to be part of something bigger. When you read these books, young homie, when you read these motherfuckers who think they smart, who telling you that you should have these things, you should join these groups and be part of these people and network, understand what they're really trying to get you to do. See, the devil believes, and this is what you believe, okay? The devil has taught you that to go into their system, to be exploited, but shh, I'm exploiting them, friend. <laughs> Your dumbass actually believes to go and work for McDonald's and then sit there, you know what I'm saying, so you can come up off McDonald's means you're not there for that reason. Please, motherfucker. No please. Way. No way. No way. When a when a when a woman or a hooker or it's not even put those together. When a hooker is by herself, she's a free ace. When a hooker is part of a with a pimp, she's part of a team. I'm just going in there to work with Trick and John, <laughs> Pimp, Pimp and John, for, for this. I ain't going in there for nothing else but to be, you know, come on, you still getting fucked. I want you to understand the difference, man, because exploitation, when you hear that, when you see that, I want you to know it's, it's worse than normal, homie. When you see that motherfuckers are, are telling, talking about walking around with your shield, you listening to a brainwashed motherfucker, somebody who... They dropped the whole, you know what I'm saying? Those tie pods in that motherfucker's head, homie. He he clean up there. Somebody cleaned out his own thoughts and plans. We take advantage of opportunities. We don't exploit people. You know how you exploit like poor people? Give you a good example. You go to any hood. I don't care where y'all live. Bad neighborhood. I want y'all to go down. There. Go down the street. I want you to look at the price of the gas station. Okay. Then I want you to drive to not even a rich area. Let's say over there where the trucks are. Y'all have an industrial area. See what the gas is over there. And then lastly, I want you to drive to where the gas is in, in the well-to-do area. And I want you to write down the price of unleaded. Right? You're going to find that the price of unleaded, 87, wherever y'all happen to be, is more expensive in the, the rich area, right? And then the extreme poor area. Which doesn't make sense because the industrial area is cheaper, right? And then you'll know like me to always get your gas near the industrial area. Okay? So the thing I want you to see is that they're exploiting poor people. And how are they exploiting poor people? Because the poor people can't, don't have an option. Right? Again, an emotional thing. You're fucked. You can't do any better. Right? So, I, I mean, you can complain all you want, but you this is the only place you can get gas. 
Because people with money don't fuck with you. Don't you know, you piece of shit, you live in Compton, you live in this area. We gonna make the gas 10 cents higher in your area. All right? And you see that it's, it's intentional. That maybe that's what you should get out of it. Exploitation is intentional. Not just part of the game, intentional. Right? They know you in a bad way. They, they hike up your interest rate on you when you go by and get a new car because you have bad credit. They know you in a bad way, so they tell you that in order to lease this apartment, you're going to have to pay $50 more for some bullshit. They know you in a bad way, right? So they say, you know what? Uh, blowjobs, I only got 10 for the blowjob. That's all I got. They know you in a bad way. They exploit your ignorance. They exploit your situation. They exploit the fact that you don't know what the fuck is going on. And that's what the exploitation is. And it's all rampant in this chip game. The banks are taking advantage of They're exploiting you. All middle class people are being exploited. Guess what the plan is for you dumb motherfuckers? To get a job, to get married, to have a kid, to get a house to, that's way more than you can afford, right? And to live your life and never do anything more and basically just let them milk you and keep giving you these loans and then you get a vacation and the whole economy is built on exploiting the middle class. That's why I tell you to get the fuck out of it. Stay at the bottom or get to the top, homie. But don't get in the middle. Right? Get out of that shit. You hear it on the news every time. The middle class is shrinking. The middle... The, the people we dick are... The people we exploit are shrinking. In this ship game, when you exploit people, it's semi-easy to see. And you hear people calling blood suckers of the poor. Right? They're pimps. Right? I'm pimping the game. You know, I'm pimping McDonald's, Freeman. Unless you still a hamburgers and still a hamburger meat and, and supplying your own burger place with hamburger meat, homie, what the fuck are you doing? I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's a corporate game, Freeman. I'm I'm doing unless you taking shit to start your own shit, what the fuck are you doing? Right? Unless you're still in contact to build up your own shit. Unless you're still in contact to give to another motherfucker so you can get cash for him. What the fuck are you exploiting, homie? What the fuck are you taking advantage of? What corporate game are you talking about? This exploitation shit is what you need to be very aware of. Never rock anyone's shield. Never rock anyone's name. Never rock any of this shit that you hear other people talking about, homie. You don't want to be part of that. I always tell you, man, I'm a mercenary to these chips, homie. I come in to fight only for my own self. I don't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about your flag. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Where the motherfuckers you gotta kill? Here's the, the contract on their head. Let's go get them, homie. Right? I'm trying to get y'all to know this because these words of exploitation and taking advantage of should not, should not be part of your vocabulary as you try to build. It's not a strategy we take on. Because it only takes a cat like me. Let me let me give you a, a good example. One time when I was in Philadelphia, I worked for this law firm. And all the people there were doing billing for a law firm. And and all the people there, I was young as shit. All the people there were doing billing and it was a shitty job. Man. You know, like legal billing is a motherfucker. It's a shitty job. So I'm young to the game. I'm sitting there talking to the CFO like, man, this is some bullshit, right? So my supervisor takes me into office. He says, Freeman, I want you to calm down and be quiet because this is all they got. This is what they're going to do. You, yeah, I think I know you niggas bullshit, but they're not going nowhere and you're making it hard for them to live. But when I became a free man and started saying, this is some bullshit, right? Then they wanted to get me out of there because they were saying, shh, I'm exploiting them. They don't know this is bullshit. They don't know any better. They don't know that they could, you know, this is all garbage and it could be a better way. They don't know. You're fucking up the apple cart. I remember one other white dude told me, because I always tell people, man, the devil saw me coming, homie. I, I was too fucking raw when I was young, right? Hey, Freeman, you know, you a troublemaker. I'm like, how am I a troublemaker? I'm quiet and shit. Yeah, but the little things you say, they cause people to be uncomfortable you know the management trying to get people to, to work and you you kind of prove to them that they lie and i said well am i exposing the lie am i i'm not calling them a liar i'm telling them that the process that they thought about it well you know you're a troublemaker and i always laugh at that idea right and that's only because 
I knew they were trying to exploit me. I left. I knew other people were sitting there saying this is a good job. I'm like, you must be retarded. Right? And lastly, the thing is, I didn't, you know, everyone thinks that when I started business and everything that I'm out to exploit people. I'm not. I see an opportunity. I see a need that needs to be filled and I do it. I don't have no one coming after me, no one that I need to look over my shoulder on. No one that says I'm overcharging them. No one that says any of that shit. You know why? Because I'm not the goddamn devil. <laughs> Next time, partner. These films helped 